Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will be installing the Big 3 Tech SKR Mini E3 V3 mainboard on the Creality Ender 3 V2. This is the packaging. You receive nice yellow duck, small USB cable, and the big surprise. Looks pretty nice. Looks really beautiful. There's a heat sink and extra outputs for many mouse you can do later. Let's go prepare our printer. Make sure you feel comfortable and you have easy access to the main board slot and uh, this is my best orientation for installing the board like that and as you can see now at the back bottom of the printer this is our main board slot and let's go So for the installing of the main board, we will use the same orientation for the original main board. Make sure this uh, memory card slot and the USB slot is clicking into place. And once they are clicking, all these uh, screw holes will be aligned with the bracket of the main board holder and then we can screw it in place. Okay, so now board is ready. Here is the power. Next is the heating bed, and then it will be the heating block. Fan zero, fan one, and fan two. Going down a little bit, so we can we can see here the stops. X stop, Y stop, and Z stop. Z stop I will not use because I'm using uh, auto bed, auto bed here touch. And here thermistors. So to have more control, wiring up. I decided to remove the bracket from the printer to have easier access for the wiring. So in order to remove the mount or the bracket, uh, there is one screw at the top. I already removed that screw and two big screws on the side. As you can see now, we'll start unscrewing them to have easy access for the wiring. Okay, so now that we have the board in our hands, we can start installing the wires. We'll start by the power. Make sure that main power is off. Main power cable is off. Let's go. For the polarity, be careful when installing the cables. Some cables have polarities and some cable are it's okay to install them either side. For the power cable, we have negative and positive. Now I'm just unscrewing all my screws to make it easy to put my wires in. Starting with the power cable. Now, the negative side, the black wire, should be always facing outside. It means going on the left side of the of the, of the boat, on the outer side of the boat, as you can see now. So, uh, power 
cable is on. Next we'll go with the heating bed, bed heaters, and then next to it will be the block heater. Now jumping to install the bed heater. Bed heater should be installed as per the polarity. The black wire or the ground ground wire will be facing up. Will be the first uh, wire to go in. And alternatively, will be the red one next to it. Next will be the block heater. Block heater has no polarity. It can go in either sides. Uh, my wires doesn't look so pretty because I connected, removed many times, fixing the printer. I had an issue with the original main board. I will show you in another video. Okay, so now we install power, bed, and block. And then here we install the thermistor for the hot end. Next it is the thermistor for the heating bed. I believe my old board was malfunctioned here somewhere. I will show you another video. The issue I had with the previous main board. Now installing the thermistor for the heating bed. Connector just clip in place. Okay, so now after connecting the thermistors for the bed and for the block, we'll start installing the stops. I will not be using the Z stop because I installed. PL touch it will use another connector so the stops I will be installing here will be only X stop and Y stop so what I installed now is the Y stop uh, next to it on the right hand will be the X stop now connecting the X stop so so up to now what connected was the uh, was the thermistors and we skipped the z stop because it will be replaced by the bl touch then we installed y stop and x stop next we'll go for the bl touch as you can see you cannot mistake it i think this is the only uh, connector of that type and then next we will check our connections for the stepper motors so as you can see just beneath the heatsink you can see the written XM, YM, ZM and EM as you can notice ZM has two connections that's in case you are using a double uh, Z motor or you upgrade to double Z axis so you can install your Z motors here doesn't matter which one is where because both of them are receiving the same signal so this one will give the output for them and X axis Y axis Z axis and 
extruder okay so here i'm connecting the stepper motors cables connections we'll skip the z for now because uh, z cable is very short and uh, once we put the main board back into position we will be able to have easy access to uh, put the cables on so now we have the extruder on uh, x on y on and we are waiting for the set Uh, now I will start connecting the fans. So this fan is for the hot end cooling fan. It will go there on fan zero. And if you remember on the previous main board, the original main board duct fan was uh, it's not on the GST connector it was direct wires it was using the same method for connecting the heat bed and for the heating block so we have to prepare a GST connection and then fan will go right next to the hot end here is the wire for the duct fan and I will prepare GST connection for that. Here I found an old cable from uh, from old semester. So the point here is the polarization. 
the ground cable which in that case is black should be facing down should be at the bottom so be careful when installing uh, in my case here the old cable with the gst connector is not colored in any way both colors are same so i'll just make a marker for myself for my own reference i will make a mark and align it with the ground cable coming from the fan just not to lose track or put the wrong orientation Now all my connections are on. I will put back the board in place. I'm putting the Z stepper motor connection back on. LCD screen cable is on. Now I'm fixing the main board holder back in position. It's time to test. Let's see. Next step will be the firmware. Now we are ready for the test. All wires connected and we'll switch on the thing. So that noise is coming from the screen itself. It's not coming from the printer because the uh, screen here is not compatible with our printer. There is a fix for that, which was not easy. I will share it with you next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.